This is Trinity Thomas, right? And Trinity Thomas, as some of you already know, absolutely dominated the whole gymnast world um, a few months ago. She attends the University of Florida. And of course she is perfection. Of course she is an athletic wonder of the world, you know? And that wasn't really the problem. You know, whereas there was a percentage of Florida Gator fans celebrated it. The comments to this video, the, the owner of the video had to turn the comments off. Now, I've been following this for over a month. I just didn't say anything. But that person had to turn the comments off. The reason you got to turn the comments off? Because racist ass white folks, because hateful ass white folks attacked this child for being perfect they hated her for being perfect they they criticized her hair they criticized her body they criticized her, her face they criticized everything about it and that's why i keep telling african-american parents you know we don't have shit else to prove to white people we don't have when it comes to athletics, we don't have shit to prove. We have proven everything there is to prove. It's time to do something else with our children. We know they're that good. We know what they can do physically. We don't have shit to prove to white people on a football field, a basketball, a swimming pool, a goddamn tennis court. We don't have shit to prove to them. And I understand our kids want to do all of these things. But athletics does not advance us in in no way as a race it doesn't even advance us as individuals because the only way you can make money in this shit that she's doing right now is in the whole economy of gymnastics yes she can open up a school she could do that and henceforth that's pending white folks will support the school so everything with athletics is still contention upon white people. Do something else. Do something else. You know, Dominique Doss was forced. You know, it was forced emulation. And y'all don't remember Dominique Doss. But Dominique Doss, they forced her to, to, to perm her hair. The girl didn't even want to perm her hair anymore. She wanted to wear her natural hair. They forced her to perm her hair. And it's to participate in these things. Your child is is forced to emulate them. Why she got to do this shit in the swimsuit? Why she can't do this in gym in, 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 in gym clothes? Right? We have to we have to you know sexualize these children, throw them out there, and say, okay, there's no difference in this shit in stripping. Even though you can see how revealing the clothes are. So in order for our daughters to participate in these sports, we have to expose them, not only, you know, their whole mentality, not only them intellectually, but they their bodies, everything. You know, white athletics owns every part of them. And I'm disgusted by it. I'm, I am. I want, it, I want this shit to stop. I wanted to stop in football. I wanted to stop in basketball. I wanted to stop in, in gymnastics. I want to, I really, I want to give sports back to white people. Give, let them have this shit. Because as we entertain them in stadiums, the more we entertain them in stadiums, the more we fall back economically. How has any of our participation in athletics help this race in any way when it takes a uh, academic it takes a it took a black intellectual to walk into war, to a graduation at Morehouse and say I'm going to pay for these student loans I'm going to wipe out these student loans we don't have we don't have an athlete to do that shit yet because they come from this selfish world of sports and then sports 
sports tells them and teaches them that they accomplished all of this by themselves and they don't owe nobody shit. So the more athletes you get, the more detached people you get from your community. Athleticism is the enemy to community progress. We see no sign, even when these guys come to the neighborhood with their with their cars and all of this shit, that don't benefit. It don't benefit us in one way to see any of these former LSU players come to a black neighborhood in their Bugattis and all of their Lambos. And how the fuck is that benefit New Orleans? It don't. Because athleticism detaches. It severs any connections they have to the African-American community. It's a waste of a child, really, when you do better pushing that child into medicine. When they, when they graduate into medicine, at least they have a connection to the community. At least they want to open up a clinic. When they become therapists, at least they have a connection to the community. This shit with gymnasts don't do nothing but submerge your child deeper into white culture. And with white culture comes hierarchies. And we're at the bottom of that shit in your child's life. And you were the one who signed a permission slip so they could do it. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck gymnasts. This child is too beautiful and too talented. She is bigger than gym. She's bigger than gymnastics. And fuck them at Florida for the shit they said about this beautiful child.